Here's a Redmi Note 11. I'm going to show you four of the easiest way to take a screenshot in my opinion. Okay, so the first way is a two key combination. What you want to do is press the volume down and the power button at the same time. Just press both buttons quickly. Okay, so volume down, power. Ready, set, go. And you can see that right there. Okay, now it automatically gets saved into your photo gallery app. You see my gallery app right here. So if I tap on that right there, if you tap on that, then you can see all photos, which is all your photos, your cameras, the photos and videos that you took with the actual camera, and then your screenshots folders here. So if I tap on that right there, I can see that last screenshot I just took there. Okay, now an another thing too is you have something what's called a scrolling screenshot. So for example, uh, let's just say I'm in um, s somewhere where I can go ahead and scroll. Like, let me go to my settings here, and you can see you can scroll here, okay? So if I do volume down and power, I take a screenshot here. Now when I do that, it says scroll here, okay? So I'll tap on scroll, and now it's going to be moving up. And then you can go ahead and tap on done when you're about done. So let's just say, yeah, we'll stop it right about there, just like that. And then from here, you can edit it, write stuff. You can even crop it right here. Let's say, ah, oh, we didn't want to go down that far. We'll stop right there. And then just tap on the check mark up here. And now when we go back into our gallery, we'll go to screenshots here and we'll tap on that. And now we can see that long screenshot. Instead of like a whole bunch of them, you get like one long one now. You can see right here. Okay. Now another way to take a screenshot if you go to control center, if you go to your top right hand side and you swipe down. That little icon right there is screenshot. So if I tap on that right there, it just took a screenshot of that. Okay. If I go ahead and, for example, if I open up like File Manager right here, and then I top right hand side, I slide down. The screenshot button is right there. I tap on that. Boom, and it automatically into the gallery, and we can scroll on this one as well. Now another way to take a screenshot. The third way is using three fingers. Okay. So you can use three fingers. And you can just scroll down like that okay now that's automatically turned on three fingers and if it's if it doesn't work then uh, yours is not turned on but again it's on by default you can just go directly to your settings and then from here go to additional settings so keep going down additional settings right here tap on that and then you can see oh gesture shortcuts tap on that and then you can see take a screenshot slide three fingers down plus volume down plus so just tap on take a screenshot and you can see this is already enabled the volume down plus the power button screenshot and now you turn this one on so now you get the three fingers you can go ahead and slide down and take a screenshot okay now let me just go back here now if you tap on the back too now the fourth way is here under gesture shortcuts again Right here it says double tap fingerprint sensor. So the power button is the sensor here. Currently it says none, okay? So if I go ahead and tap on that, and I'll tap on take a screenshot. Now all I gotta do is just touch my power button twice. Oops. Let me do it again. There we go. Let's do that again. I use a different finger. Ah, uh, there we go. I think it's this case right here. Anyway, you guys got the message. Good luck.